Companies are just like us. People will overcomplicate analysis. Uh, companies have a cost of capital and a return on capital. Uh, if they make a return above their cost of capital consistently, then the value of the company grows over time. If they make a return below their cost of capital consistently, the value shrinks over time. Think of it in personal terms. If you go out to your bank and borrow money at 5% and you invested in Fundsmith for the last decade at 18%, you would have become more wealthy. Right? If you borrow from your bank at 5% and invested in somebody else's fund at 2% return, you would have become poorer. This is not, uh, we don't need to get into um, higher mathematics here or any particularly sophisticated level of thinking. It's a fact. This is, this is the case. Yet, since Warren Buffett wrote that in his annual report in 1979, I would say more people in the investment community have ignored it than have used it. Uh, basically, take us on comment, please. Um, this uh, um, quote from uh, Warren Buffett's uh, number two, Charlie Munger, uh, in many respects, summarizes why this is important. So, you know, I think I've given a similar explanation. Here's a slightly lengthier explanation. I don't know why he chooses this time period or these particular rates, but it doesn't matter. I'll just read it. Over the long term, it's hard for a stock to earn a much better return than the business which underlies it returns. It earns. If the business earns 6% on capital over 40 years and you hold it for that 40 years, you're not going to make much different to a 6% return. Here's the punchline even if you originally buy it at a huge discount. Conversely, if a business earns 18% on capital over 20 or 30 years, even if you pay an expensive looking price, you'll end up with one hell of a result. He's telling us something here, which is very important. This is not a theory. He's not putting forward a theory of investment. It's a mathematical fact. That's important to realize that. And what he's telling you here is something like this. I wish I had a, a diary that I kept from when I started in finance all those years ago, and that I put two columns in each day. And every time in the investment business, somebody asked me whether a, a company or a strategy was high quality, good, had high returns on capital, I would put a tick in one column. And every time they said, but is it cheap or expensive? I put a tick in that column. I would have far, far more ticks in the, is it cheap or expensive column. People spend almost their entire effort thinking about whether something's cheap or expensive, or highly rated or lowly rated, which I guess is a better way of expressing it, and far too little deciding whether it's a high grade business that they really want to own that can compound in value. Um, and I think uh, Munger basically um, uh, encapsulates why it's important in that quote. As I said, return on capital is the single most important thing. There's 